is up guys, Ridden Rider back again with another epic adventure. Today guys, I've got something awesome for you. We are at an abandoned boat graveyard. Now, my understanding is that this whole place will get redeveloped eventually, but I'm not sure why it was abandoned, if it was sold, when it was sold or whatever. This is something Zay found, but anyways guys, let's check it out. guys so we are at this abandoned boat graveyard like i told you in the intro and right away as you can see these are not just like small little crappy little boats for the most part i mean there is certainly some of those but these are like big boats this is like i said hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of product just sitting here and like they're all overgrown they're all in various states of decay and yeah just a really unique kind of a place here now I'm not sure what the story is. It kind of looks like this may have been actually a boat scrapyard rather than a storage facility because it looks like a lot of them have like the motors missing and whatnot. And you gotta love boat names. You got Quickly over there. What's this one over here? Out of, out to C looks like, but S-E-E. -E. Geez, there's little tiny fellas around, but there's also these massive, massive boats. <laughs> I mean, in this day and age with the price of fuel, I'm not I wouldn't be surprised that we see more of these. Because boating is an expensive sport. But yeah, you can see guys, so it looks like people come here and like I said, it's like a scrap yard for boats because this one's mostly intact, but the motor is completely gone. You can see there and it seems for the, like the most part, the motors are all gone out of these things. So people are just, you know, ripping parts out to rebuild what they already have. Look at this. So post-apocalyptic. Now it is a rainy Canada day, so this is exactly what I like to be doing. Zay and I on a Canada day is doing some urbexing. Look at these, like, we got one, two, three, four, five, all decent sized boats. And you got this one here, Yada No Better 3. <laughs> What's this one called? Electric Cur, Electric Currency, oh. Is Bayliner there? But like even look at this big boat up there. You can see it's kind of the tops all been pu pulled off of it. So like, again, like I said, it's definitely like a scrapyard. But the thing that's really neat is that there's so many intact boats. Meaning like you go to scrapyards often, you see like just little bits of cars left behind. But this is friggin' wicked. And I said to Zay when we got here, I'm like, this is overwhelming. It's just, there's such a big kind of location. It was so many big things to shoot. It's, you almost get, you know, you can't really know where to start off. The Endeavor right there. Oh, this is a formula. Those are nice boats right there. Wow. You don't really see these too often. Like occasionally you'll we'll find an abandoned, like a, a boat, a small boat at an abandoned house, but you never find dozens and dozens like this. 
And usually the ones you do find in an abandoned house are something like this little fella right there. Not really much to it. Man, I'm hoping this rain stops. I really want to get some drone shots of this place. That's why I came here, specifically for the drones, mostly. Yeah, see, all the interior has been completely gutted out. Instrument panels and whatnot all pulled right out of here. Fancy cassette deck. Like this is a big boat. This is what? Probably 32 feet. Montego. Yeah, 32 down at the end there. Carver. And like look at this great big boat over there just on a wicked lean. It's almost like what you'd expect to see after a hurricane's ripped through a Gulf city or something. Now there is a truck over there. I hope this guy isn't going to be a problem for us because it is the first urbex of the day. We don't need to start off the day with a problem. Oh, there's Zay over there. So there was that truck. He left. We're good to go. I just was a little concerned the way he was kind of going slow. There are two houses right over there. So we don't want to get seen. I feel that no one's going to care. But I also don't want to have that ruin our day. I mean, it is the first urbex of the day. You don't need to start off on negative vibes. You see, there's this crab dump here too. So I can't see anybody really caring. But look at this. Yeah, you'd expect to see that like after a hurricane went through a frigging Gulf City and just ravaged a boat. Got an AC unit sitting up there. Cool. Such a unique spot. And look at this trailer right here. The whole side's been removed. Friggin' soaked. My pants are friggin' just drenched. I should have been wearing shorts, but my legs get ravaged by the, the weeds and the bugs. All sorts of random stuff here. We've got like four or five toilets sitting right there. You got an oven over there.
put my head, put the camera up here just so you guys can have a little look inside. There really isn't much to the interior of boats unless they're like massive, massive, which I mean, these are big, but they're not super massive dots or whatever. So there isn't really much to see in them. But you get an idea. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of this epic adventure. Canada Day, Urbex with Zay, obviously. But anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Smash the like button. Remember, guys, always come back because Ridden Rider always has that epic shit. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace. All right, guys. Here is a preview of what is coming. $40 million abandoned French Chateau mansion. Wicked.